Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So guess what? <laughs> My May box came in May. <laughs> Um, nice change from last month. So I did get my boxy a few days ago. I do always try to get these videos out to you guys as quickly as possible in the hopes that you'll see it before you get your boxes. Um, but life is weird right now, so I'm doing my best. My hair looks like this. It's just gonna have to be fine. So let's dive into the box. Um, I did take a sneak peek, so if I look a little bit weird, it's because I don't have any lips on, because we're gonna try some lips on together. First things first, um, the first item in the box um, was actually one that we got to choose. So I believe there was a choice. I'm not even going to pretend to remember. There were some choices. I chose this. <laughs> um, this is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are valued at $59. These would be similar to the First Aid Beauty resurfacing pads that we got in a previous boxy charm. They have lactic acid and probiotic ferment complex. So it's gonna be like a BHA, AHA exfoliant on a little bit of a pad. I am using the First Aid Beauty ones right now and I really like them. So when I saw that this was an option, I was like, yes, then I don't have to worry about running out of the First Aid Beauty ones. I can do these. And I do really love Elemis. I've tried quite a few products from them, mostly through BoxyCharm, and there's nothing I have tried that I haven't liked so far. So I have high hopes for this. Next in the box, we have the Jouer High Pigment Lip Gloss, um, and this is valued at $17, and it's supposed to be a non-sticky, full-coverage gloss that moisturizes lips using jojoba seed oil and provides a creamy, full-coverage pearl finish that glides on smoothly. So... This is what it looks like. Love the packaging. Very classic Jouer packaging. I have a couple of other um, products from them and they have the same shape and size. And I got the color called Broadway. Now this I thought was like, oh, it'll be like a nice sheer formula, but no, it is very full coverage. So I'm going to try that one on for you guys today, but there is another lippy in here that I want to show you first. Um, and it is the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lipstick. Um, so I have never tried this formula from Dose of Colors before. I've only tried their liquid lipstick. So I was really, really excited to get this. This is also valued at $17. Um, and it's supposed to be in between a matte and creamy finish. And I got the color Mocha. Let's just talk about the shape of the actual lipstick. It's like a bit of an odd kind of wedge shape, but I think the color is really beautiful. Right up my alley, definitely in my wheelhouse. So I'm gonna try this color first because it's lighter and then we'll switch to the darker color. I did sort of a lighter eye look today because I thought maybe I'll wear the darker color for the day just to see how that formula wears. Um, so let's try this one on, see what we think of it. I have like a little bit of lip balm on. Just kind of rub it in. That goes on really nice. It's very creamy. My mirror's over here, I should have moved it over, but the box is in front of me, it's a whole thing. So that's the color Mocha, I think that's really beautiful. That's like a really great sort of everyday color for me. The shape of this is a little bit strange, but it actually makes it pretty easy to put it on without a lip liner or anything. The only thing that I'm gonna say is that you'll have to be careful putting the lid on, because I feel like you could gouge the lipstick really easily. Does it twist up? Okay, it does twist up, but it doesn't twist down. So if you got this, just be careful. So let's take this off and try the darker one on. All right, let's try this darker lip color on. So this is Broadway from Jouer. Okay, so that's Broadway. It's quite dark. It is definitely full coverage. It's got a little bit of a metallic finish to it. I don't know if I'm obsessed with this color on me, especially for like spring, summer, but maybe for fall, 
it feels a little bit dangerous because it's such a full coverage deep tone um, but it doesn't dry down matte so I'm like is it gonna be all over my teeth maybe so we'll see I'll leave it on and we'll see how it lasts as I'm chatting along to you guys about the rest of the items in the box so those two lip colors are great uh, definitely some new formulas for me to try out loving that both valued at $17 um, the next thing in the box is from Tristique so this is their cover plus concealer crayon um, and I have tried quite a few products from Tristique before mostly the wind just blew the bathroom door closed and it scared me. I was like, oh my gosh, there is a burglar in my house <laughs> the middle of the day. So as I was saying, <laughs> most of the Tristique products that I have tried have been lip colors. Uh, I've tried a couple of mascaras from them, but they're sort of known for the, the packaging that looks like a crayon, which I think is cute. It fits into their sort of line. Um, so this is like a concealer crayon. So it says, Finally, you can have extra smooth, easy glide application with full, flexible coverage and a lightweight feel. The ultra creamy, long lasting formula takes coverage and correction to a new level. So this is valued at $24. I generally prefer um, like more of a liquid concealer. However, I do keep a crayon similar to this in my purse and I'll use that kind of throughout the day if I get like some redness around my nose um, being an acne prone skin type sometimes I'm just out in the world and all of a sudden I get a breakout and I can do a little touch up so something like this would be useful for me in that way um, color wise it's definitely my shade you can't even see that on my hand because it's exactly the color of my skin so I'll have to let you guys know in a future video how this goes. Something like this I really wouldn't use under my eyes. I find this type of a creamy formula usually tends to crease under the eyes, but great for spot concealing. It does, however, say that it's infused with coconut oil, um, which I know a lot of brands are using that right now. It's very trendy. Um, however, coconut oil generally breaks me out. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know in a future video. Um, I do have a video coming out soon that I filmed prior to this um, about speed reviews. So I think I'm going to make that like a regular thing on my channel where I sort of round up products that I'll say, I'll let you know in a future video and sort of do that on a regular basis. So keep your eye out for that. I do have that coming, but I think I will try to do more of those going forward. I think that's helpful rather than waiting for like an empties video or faves and fails or something like that. So definitely looking forward to giving that a try. The last thing in the box is the Tarte Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. And you guys know I love a micellar water, so I was very excited to receive this. It's valued at $18. That's more than I would generally spend on a micellar water, but it looks to be the exact same packaging as the Marcel one that I like. So it looks like this. Super cute and fancy bottle, but it's got that get that pump top that I really like where you don't end up wasting a lot of product so very excited about this I'm almost to the bottom of the micellar water that I'm using right now I did already buy a backup but I'll try this one first and let you guys know I'm sure I'm going to love it I feel as though micellar waters all pretty well perform the same I haven't had any issues with like residues or anything like that so I'm sure I'm going to love this what a useful product to get in a boxy term it in some ways feels like I didn't get that many things because it's a lot of like these smaller items. So like this is all that was in the box, but these are all very useful things. So I feel like this is maybe the most useful box I've had in a while. Um, I'm excited to try a couple of different lip formulas um, as I've had this on. It doesn't, it's not on my teeth. It doesn't seem to be sliding around too much. So I'm, I'll probably just wear it for the rest of the day to see how it wears throughout the day. I can always use a new crayon concealer. The one that I have in my purse has probably been in there for an embarrassing amount of time. Maybe it's time to just replace it with this. You guys know I love getting skincare in boxy charms, but not only did I get skincare this time, but I got two things that I use all the time, you know, an exfoliant and a micellar water. Awesome, love it so much, great box. And it came on time. What more can you ask for? So BoxyCharm hit the ball out of the park this time. So why don't I do a quick tally of the total? 
and then we'll move on with our lives. So the total is $135 for this particular variation of the box. I definitely feel like the box was worth it this month. I would have paid more than that just for these and I'm very excited to have these. So there's nothing in here that I am not going to use. Um, so yeah, it's a great box. I'm really, really happy about it. I'm excited to try all of the things. Um, let me know in the comments below, did your box come? Is it on time? What did you get? Did you get the same as me, different than me? Did you get these lip colors but in different shades? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. It's always super nice to hear from you down in the comments. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.